Calgary, Alberta, Canada, a Midwestern Canadian city of 1.2 million people who on a yearly basis celebrate their city's roots in the Wild West by enjoying the Calgary Stampede. This 10-day event is notable for its rodeo, the over-the-top food, the rides and its infamous way of making the entire city intoxicated the whole time. You see, I have lived here my whole life, but wanted to discover why Calgarians do this to themselves. I wanted to get behind the event itself. I wanted to meet the cowboys, who are at the heart of the event, and I wanted to learn from them. Turns out, this wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Are you a real cowboy? No. <laughs> no, I'm not a cowboy. Definitely not. No, I'm not. I'm more of a uh, cavalry officer. Uh, no, but today I feel like one. Too bad that doesn't count. At least we got some honesty from people. I'm not a real cowboy, are you kidding me? So, why do they dress up in those ridiculous outfits? I had my suspicions. Be honest with me, this is just for the girls, isn't it? Sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Always, of course. There's some pretty women there today. Uh, yes. Girls. The reasons behind every man's best moments and worst decisions. There must be a link here. Girls must be out looking for cowboys, right? Well, I went to Ranchman's, the iconic country bar, to meet some girls and get some facts. Like uh, Sexy about a guy in boots and tight jeans and a cowboy hat. Who doesn't mind getting dirty? Oh, they ride, ride bulls, you know, like working a farm, you know, it's kind of hot. So apparently dirt is sexy. Wearing blue jeans and a cowboy hat means girls will be all over you. So we solved this. Girls want cowboys, dress up like a cowboy, get girls. It makes sense. There you go. There's the answer. The end. Back it up. We're done here. Are you guys looking for a cowboy? No. Uh, no, I already have a cowboy. No. No. I well, already got one. Well, fuck. Oh. Um, turns out girls aren't all looking for cowboys. Do you think someone who is regular the rest of the year but puts a cowboy hat on this time of the year is a cowboy or are they not? They're a fraud. And that was a revelation for us because we realized that everyone we met was a fraud. As hard as we tried, I couldn't find one real cowboy. We couldn't even find someone who came close. I'm actually a medical student. Uh, I actually work in education. Sales. I'm retired. What'd you do before you were retired? I was in education. I was a teacher. Electrician, industrial. Finance for a small private private uh, oil and gas company. Hard working Albertan though. Born and raised, Calgarian, up north, pumping it the way we're supposed to be. Even people who are absolutely not cowboys lied to us about it. Are you a cowboy? Gotcha. <sighs> it was right then that we started to panic. Are you a cowboy? No. Nope. Are you a cowboy? Uh, no. Are you a cowboy? No. Are you a cowboy? No, I'm not a cowboy. Are you a cowboy? No. Are you a cowboy? No. Are you a cowboy? No, I'm not. Are you a cowboy? Not today. Are you a cowboy? Yes, I am, baby. Are you lying to me? He's lying to me. Are you a cowboy? No, sir. Are you a cowboy? No, sir. Uh, Damn it. Are you guys cowboys? We miss you. Thank you. Are you a cowboy? No. Are you a cowboy? No. Nope. Are you a cowboy? Do I look like a cowboy? Oh, no, but we're trying. Are you a cowboy? Nope. Are you a cowboy? No. Are you a cowboy? Yes. Are you lying? Yes. Are you a cowboy? Absolutely. At heart. Ah, there we yeah, go. So That's the catch. Thanks, bud. Appreciate. So, after all that, we didn't find a real cowboy. Not one. But what if it's not about being a cowboy? What, what if it's about something more? Do you think there's more to Stampede than just people showing up, dressing up like cowboys and getting drunk for 10 days? You can't resist it, okay? Mm -hmm. It simply takes you over and it spreads like wildfire. It's a big corporate event too. It just kind of shows that even in oil and gas and corporate culture, we like to have fun. We like to celebrate our culture and actually educate ourselves about um, what we're all about and where we came from. Every city needs something that brings the city together. And, and for Calgary, it's the Stampede. I really like how everyone in Calgary is involved in this event. It's not just a certain age group. It's everyone from the kids to the parents who are here and just enjoying the event so I love that culture. For you know a week and a half in the summertime 
everyone is a part of something that's bigger than them. Uh, I would say it's a great way to bring tourism into the city. I think it's just part of the city, you know? It's a, if you removed it, you're removing a piece of the city itself. I think it makes Calgarians proud to be in Calgary. But if I'm being totally honest, it's just a great excuse to get wasted in some comfortable footwear. It offers us a built-in yearly excuse to celebrate in the most positive, positive way. So there you have it. Are cowboys real? I don't know. But that's not the point. The point is that the stampede is sort of a ridiculous event. But regardless of that, it brings together a forgotten city in the middle of a recession. Whatever history it's commemorating might be badly replicated, but it's remembering its history nonetheless. And between all the alcohol, cowboy hats, and fairground rides, you have something special here. Even if it's fake. Are you General Custer right now? No, I am just a, a, I'm a four-star general, but I'm not Custer. Custer's a different, uh, he's going to be a star talent uh, coming on board. I love cowboys. I mean, I love them. You love cowboys? <laughs> I'm a cowboy. You're a cowboy and you love cowboys. I think, I, I think there's actually a movie about cowboys loving cowboys. Yeah, it's called Brokeback Mountain. Were you in it? Hell no, I was only the director. wrong, if I could say something. It's stamping the exhibition. I think the exhibition is the trade of hold on the trade of cattle. That's what makes it world famous, from what I know. I, I mean, I mean, the millions heads of cattle that are traded during the stampede.